Okay, let's first identify A, B, and C. A is 6, B is 7, C is negative 3. Next, we're going to multiply A times C. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Now, we need to find two numbers whose product is negative 18, but whose sum is positive 7. Those two numbers would be 9 and negative 2. And if you want to check that, 9 times negative 2 is a negative 18. 9 plus a negative 2 is a positive 7. Next thing is to write out the first term of that trinomial, write out the last term of the trinomial, and then leave some space here. So instead of me writing 7x, I'm going to use these two numbers to help me do that. So 6x squared plus 9x minus 2x. Now you'll notice 9x minus 2x, that's still 7x, but it's just written in a different way. Okay, you have a four-term polynomial, and we're going to use method of grouping to factor this. We're going to factor the greatest common factor out of the first two, then we're going to factor greatest common factor out of the last two terms. The greatest common factor of 6x squared and 9x is 3x. Greatest common factor of minus 2 and minus 3 would be a negative 1. Okay, so if we factor a 3x out of these first two terms, that leaves me with 2x plus 3. Then factor negative 1 out of these last two terms. That leaves us with 2x plus 3. Okay, we're almost done here. The last thing is to factor the common binomial out of the entire expression. And that common binomial is 2x plus 3. You can see that common binomial here and here. Okay, so if I factor uh, 2x plus 3 out of this first part, I'm left with 3x. And if I factor it out of the last part, I'm left with minus 1. That's the complete factorization.